Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, probably about, well, on Wolverine release day, I decided to come back to the game. It's been like, oh, I'm thinking like eight, seven, eight months since I put the game down. I did come back for a short stint, um, which is uh, where I got uh, some stuff you'll probably see later on in the, in the video. But I really was just kind of curious about Wolverine, how he was going to play out, and really what was added to the game. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Wolverine. You know, I was kind of waiting for people to put together a skill a skill set for him, and no one was really doing it. So I just kind of took it upon myself to do it um, for me. And if this helps you out, great. Um, keep in mind, this... Uh, this Build is really reliant on stamina and cooldown reduction. So if you don't have those and you don't want to invest in those, do not listen to the skill build. This is all about really building that in. So Wolverine is, he's an awesome bruiser. He is the kind of bruiser Captain America should have been and never materialized. And he's a lot of fun to play. It literally feels like you are Wolverine. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest Wolverine fan, but I'm a big fan of this character and how he was designed and developed and kind of like how he feels in the game. So I guess the first thing we're going to take a look at is the skills. And then, I, of course, I will go ahead and talk about his potential. I will talk about his Omega cards. I will talk about the companions are actually pretty important with Wolverine to buff up some of that stamina. Um, and if you have it, cooldown reduction. Um, but I, I do show you ways that if you're not a spender and you don't have those specific companions to do that, there are other companions that you can use to kind of compensate for that. So let's go ahead and just take a look at his skills. And this is basically what I have been working with so far. Now, this is for Eye of Osiris. So if you don't have an Eye of Osiris set, you can definitely use this build, but I don't think you're going to get much of... I, I would probably say you'd probably be better off with a different skill build. The interesting thing about Wolverine is he can be built multiple ways. You know, one thing I was taking a look at early on was taking a look at Rupture. Rupture and Laceration. I think those were some really cool mechanics. What I don't like about Rupture is it, it basically says stacks Rupture when the skill lands. Decreases defense by 2% per stack. But we don't know stacks. We don't have any kind of measurement on screen that tells us anything about how many stacks the opponent has. And that's the unfortunate thing about it. So I was taking a look at my build and it had nothing, it had nothing to do with rupture and laceration. And I really didn't want to just throw that out with this. So one thing I was taking a look at was the basic. The basic actually stacks ruptures and decreases defense by 2% per stack. So if you're going to be setting up your build and you need a skill that's going to put rupture on there, you could actually just use the basic attack. Now, of course, a rupture build would probably be more effective because you would have multiple skills adding that as well as your basic. But I'm not really going in that direction because my, my gear set just isn't built for that. So <clears throat> very first thing is I'm doing rupture on my basic. So when I go into the, when I go into fight, my fighting mode, very first thing as I approach the opponent, what I want to do, I want to increase my attack 17% for 12 seconds. That is a very nice long buff on Wolverine. And then I want to recover my ultimate gauge by over 15%. And I'll show you some of my cards and kind of and my specializations for ultimate gauge, which is why I'm doing that. However, this skill has a has a really nice spread among all of the skills that you could actually use. Increasing that that critical damage is really nice. Um, <clears throat> recovering HP. Uh, this is more of a tanky build. 
remove status effects from yourself and become immune to debuffs and immobility are great. You know, one thing you could do instead of this skill is just equip Wong. A Wong would go ahead and do most of that except for the regeneration and you would be set. Um, but in this case, I went ahead and I went with the increased attack and ultimate gauge because my Wolverine is just stacking that alt gauge really fast. Then I'm going to follow up with the swift strike. Um, and this one, the claw expertise, I chose this one because of the low cooldown and the low stamina. I also wanted to mark the opponent because I'm going to follow up with one of my very heavy attacks. So marking that opponent is going to increase the next skill's damage on the marked target by 30% if the attack is made within five seconds and they cannot use the dodge. So this could be used in PVP if you're going to do something like that. I followed up with this skill right here. This evolved hunter for forward momentum is it is a heavy cooldown, 26 seconds, and 40 stamina. So it is big. It is really going to be draining your Wolverine. But the fact that he jumps up in the air on you, on you again, then clotheslines you, is just so nice to see. So, you know, with the Eye of Osiris set, I am doing 2300% damage on that skill and I'm doing that while they're marked so I can increase my attack as well. Then we have this one. This one is the one I kind of slid in here. This was probably the best one I could find. The order I might change down the line, um, but I do think that this one it needs to be in the skill build because this is going to apply laceration effect when the skill lands on the rupture target. So you're going to be doing ruptures on your basic. This is going to do the laceration, which is going to decrease HP recovery by 50 seconds and apply the dot relative to 111% of my attack per second and decreases their attack by 25% for seven seconds. So this is actually a really nice one. It is a little heavier on the cooldown and, and stamina, but not too bad. Then we have our second iframe. Let me go back and, and make sure I, I point that out, that the forward momentum is also an iframe. And then we are going to finish that with the massive clothesline iframe where he just goes all over the place. Now keep in mind, there is this iframe, which could probably be more effective, possibly in PVP. I would probably have to test this, but it's going to be really heavy on that cooldown. And that was one thing I decided against was not to use that skill because of that. Now, my stamina usage with these skills is pretty exhausting. Um, he starts to run out a little bit, but it isn't too bad. I will show you guys. Uh, I'll just fight some some uh, AI here. It's not too bad, but I will go ahead and show you where I'm sitting at stats with Wolverine right now. So my stamina recovery right now, that is sitting at 155%. Um, part of that is coming from uh, a companion. And I had some really good rolls in my gear. Um, so let's see how much stamina. So 23% is coming from my costume alone. Battle badges, I got 13% there. And let's see, companion, stamina recovery, 9.9%. So that kind of gives you the breakdown of where this stamina recovery is coming from. So you're definitely going to want to get lucky with some rolls. Um, if you can't, then definitely start re-rolling that gear. Stamina recovery, do not overlook that at all with Wolverine. It is incredibly necessary for most of his builds because all of his skills have long cooldowns and huge stamina costs. Uh, my ultimate gauge recovery, I, I did equip that card. It's only a five star. So it's only sitting at 125% right now, but that's actually really nice. 
those two I was focusing on as well as a uh, cooldown decrease. That's a little too much right now because I'm passing the maximum of 50%. It's really helpful that his cards can roll cooldown decrease as a, as a stat. Um, I'm still working on that crit rate. The like, crit rate is still a problem. I really want to get it up to like 50%. Crit damage is actually looking really decent. I'm really liking crit damage right there. Um, of course, accuracy could probably be better, but he's a work in progress right now. Uh, the other big stat we now have to look at is HP recovery. So I've been working on that in my potential. I got some of that on my cards. Um, so we're going to increase it over time, but I do have a a big specialization that relies on a lot of HP recovery. So let's look at the Omega cards here. So like I said, I have the ultimate gauge recovery card on, um, rolled HP recovery on that, which I loved right there. Rock on the crossbones, crit damage card with cooldown de decrease and some defense pierce. Those are all nice rolls on that one. Of course, it'll change at a six star. Um, this was this was awesome. I did a, a ten card pull on car on Omega cards, and I pulled two of these in the same ten card pull. I was like, "Done, I will take it." The way it rolled was, you know, it's more of a PVP card than anything else, but it does have that super villain damage. So I actually have that on my PVE and PVP setup for right now. I think I actually. We'll probably try to re-roll that um, and see if that should be PvP exclusive or PvE exclusive. Uh, I'm still playing around with it. I'm not rushing on that one. Then, of course, we got the crit rate card, you know, with the PvP damage increase and the defense pierce. That is a definitely a PvP card and PvE for that crit rate specifically. The Loki card, we got that critical damage and defense pierce. And then, of course, the Avengers card for the critical damage and defense pierce. So those are the cards I'm rocking right now. They're probably, they're possibly going to change. Um, this is going to be my PVP setup as it stands right now. Of course, I got that Omega Flight attack card in there, super villain damage, PVP damage decrease, total damage. And then I got the storm card and I actually have another one of these on my Black Widow. And um, it was, it rolled okay. I'm not, you know, not totally upset with it, but I, I just wish it was a little bit better. Um, so those are going to be my Omega cards. So, you know, within three days, it's it's not that they're actually at five star and they're actually doing pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Then specializations. So I want to give a shout out to Tony, Tony Bing gaming he uh did a really good video on wolverine except not really talking about the sk the skill builds but he did talk about the specializations and the direction you want to go so i did borrow this from him and um the specs i'm going with for wolverine on my build is feral focus using a target skill decreases the cooldown of evolved hunter class skills by percentage this one's a really good one for Eye of Osiris because it boosts the Evolve Hunter skill. Then we have the X Factor increases attack equal to percentage of HP recovery. So that's the reason I'm going for my HP recovery. Using an Evolved Hunter class skill three times recovers the ultimate skill gauge by a percentage. And then this one I'm trying to get unlocked right now is uh, Precision Hit increases damage on a single target by a percentage point. So those are pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, no, no really big issue there. Then we're going to go through the potential. And of course on this potential, I always go through my attack first. So I definitely went and hit my attack. HP recovery is starting to kick in now because that's what I need next. And then I'll probably go for defense and uh, probably some, hmm. Defense, HP, and then I'll probably come to over here um, to build up his base stats. So um, then the battle badges I have on him are the Divergent Destiny, specifically 
attack up, cooldown decrease. This set is amazing for Wolverine. These all rolled really well for me, so I am getting a lot of boost from these battle badges specifically. Uh, stamina recovery two on there, uh, ultimate gauge recovery, cooldown decrease on that one. Uh, HP, HP, stamina recovery on here, ultimate gauge recovery on here, cooldown decrease on there. Yeah, I got some really good rolls on these cards. Defense, defense. Um, this one's not so good, but it does have a cooldown decrease on it. Um, a cooldown decrease on that one. Yeah, so these are all rolling like cooldown decrease. So I'm like having so much cooldown decrease um, coming in from all over the place. This is, this is one piece of gear, this helmet. I actually might re-roll it because I want to try to pump out a crit rate on this. It's a uh, four attacks, defense pierce, critical damage, status effect accuracy. I like those, but I need a crit rate. I need some more crit rate coming in. I do have crit rate on the chest to attack, two uh, crit damage, and, or four attack, I should say. <clears throat> the gloves, gloves always suck. Um, three defense, guard damage decrease, and two dodge rate. And then on the boots, the boots actually rolled really nice. So two stam recovery, cooldown decrease, HP recovery, two HPs. So <clears throat> as you guys can kind of see, there's a lot of stuff coming in from all over the place to kind of show, sh show where he is getting the stamina recovery. One thing quick I do want to talk about is companions. And I have Donna Ports equipped on him. Basically because her bonus effect at five star is a 3.4% increase to stamina recovery. So I don't have Wong at six star. And let me just pull him up right here. So as you can see right there, cooldown decrease and stamina recovery. A six star Wong would be fan. Fantastic. You don't even have to put him as your, your active, <clears throat> but as long as you equip the, equip him, that would be a really nice boost to Wolverine. That is probably the best one. The other one I'm thinking of as well, if I can find him here, would be a five-star Yoshitori because of that crit rate. Because Wolverine does suffer on that crit rate. So, you know, to do whatever you could possibly do to get that uh, boosted up, you know, if you don't want to reroll your stats on your gear. So that's kind of what I'm working with with Wolverine. I'm going to take it from here and kind of like move forward and try to fine tune, but I want to get this video out in case anyone else was wondering and kind of looking at the skills. Um, I didn't go over some of the skills because they were uh, mainly just rupture focused and I'm not doing that. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching and take care guys.